Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain about the Miller sweep circuit. In the previous video, we have seen Miller and bootstrap time-based generators, how the basic circuit diagram like uh, resistance and capacitance can be converted into a Miller circuit by including some amplifier or a generator. So we have seen in the case of Miller circuit, an amplifier has been incorporated with a gain of infinity, minus infinity. This is the circuit diagram we have considered in the beginning of the Miller circuit introduction. So with a constant input voltage V, even if the resistance and capacitance directly connected, then the capacitor charges, but as long as the capacitor charges, the current decreases. Okay, that's why in order to maintain a constant current to get the, uh, what is this, uh, slope is equal to linear slope is equal to some linear value like 0, we are having a constant slope. But in practical, when the capacitor charges to the constant voltage like a V, and we are thinking that I is equal to V by R, this is the current that is flowing through the capacitor. But because of the current decrement, then it slowly deviated from the original linear value. This deviation is nothing but a slope error, yes. So our aim is to reduce this ES. Okay, so in order to reduce this ES, Miller sweep circuit has been converted into uh, an amplifier which is incorporated into the circuit diagram where the capacitor is connected as a bridge between input and output. Okay, the amplifier which is connected here is having a uh, gain of minus infinity. Okay. So the same circuit is again we have considered but remodeled the circuit diagram with the feminine sequent network at the input and as well as at the output. It is just remodeled as like this. The same circuit diagram is redrawn here with the inclusion of a switch here, yes. A switch as is at the closing of which the sweep starts is included. So when the sweep starts, sweep starts means when the capacitor starts raising, capacitor starts charging, automatically the switch is closed and the circuit is going to be operated. So the basic amplifier has been replaced here at its input side by its input resistance Ri and an output side its Thevenin's equivalent model. So previously here we have seen an amplifier but now this amplifier is converted into its equivalent model. This is Thevenin's equivalent model. Thevenin's equivalent model. So this Thevenin's equivalent model consisting of the input resistance Ri and the output resistance R0 along with the voltage uh, source A into Vi. Okay. So now this model R0 is the output resistance of the amplifier and A is, what do you mean by A? A is its open circuit voltage gain. A is nothing but open circuit voltage gain. So, this circuit we are just taking the, it is replacement of the previous circuit like V that is replaced by the resistance R, Ri and V on the input side by the voltage source V dash. See here the same circuit is again replaced like this by taking the um, voltage thevenin equivalent voltage like when this voltage is short circuited it will be having a parallel combination of R and Ri at the input side and the voltage appeared across this particular resistor is V dash we are taking it as V dash okay and it is R dash. It is the thevenin equivalent model of this particular network. Okay, and R dash is nothing but a parallel combination of resistance and capacitance, uh, resistors R, R and Ri. So here, where V dash is equal to V into R1 by, sorry, Ri by Ri plus R from this circuit diagram. How this V dash is coming, V dash is nothing but total voltage V into across which we are taking Ri. So Ri into addition of these two resistors Ri and R. Now 
that is equal to v by we can write it as 1 plus r by r i just a modification of this one in terms of v and another one is r dash which is a parallel combination of resistors r i and r so that is equal to r i r by <coughs> r i plus <coughs> r so neglecting the output resistance of this circuit, this one, neglecting the output resistance of this circuit, if the switch is closed at T is equal to 0 and if the initial voltage across this capacitor is 0, okay, we are assuming that the capacitor is completely free of input voltage, free of initial voltage, okay. So that's why there is no input, initial voltage across the capacitor and then V0 is equal to 0 because there is no output resistor and the capacity is initially not charged so V0 is equal to 0. But at T is equal to T minus something like uh, just before the T uh, is equal to 0, VI is equal to 0 and since the output voltage across the capacitor cannot change instantaneously, so what if we are assuming at T is equal to 0 minus VI is equal to 0 because we have not applied any input voltage and at T is equal to 0 we are assuming some input is applied input is applied and capacitor C is initially uncharged initially uncharged so there is no voltage across capacitor in this case V0 is equal to 0 but now at T is equal to 0 plus, at T is equal to 0 plus VI minus AVI is equal to 0. VI minus AVI is equal to 0 or we can say VI is equal to A into VI that is equal to V0 which is also equal to 0. So this indicates that the sweep starts from 0. This indicates that the sweep starts from 0 like this. So at t is equal to infinity, we have studied till now at t is equal to 0 and 0 plus. Now at t is equal to infinity, the capacitor acts as an open circuit for DC. C is acting as open circuit for DC. Okay, we know. Initially at T is equal to 0, capacitor does not allow any sudden changes, so simply capacitor acts as a short circuit. But as long as we are increasing the time period and as the time goes on, capacitor simply acts as open circuit. Because F is equal to 0, 1 by 0, that, that is that uh, reactance is nothing but X is equal to, X is inversely proportional to, we can say 1 by frequency, T is equal to infinity means time F is equal to 0 that is equal to 1 by 0 is infinity. Reactance is infinity means it is nothing but open circuit. That is the reason why the capacitor is acting as open circuit for DC at T is equal to infinity. And no current flows, therefore, VI is equal to simply V dash and V naught is equal to A into V dash because the output voltage is coming across See, the output voltage R, as R0 is neglected because R0 value for the amplifier is very very low value and the voltage we are directly measuring across the A into VI as it, it is acting as a short circuit. So when it is short circuit, V0 is equal to A into VI. We can say that it is equal to this one. Okay. And now V0 is equal to A into V dash. A into V dash. So this indicates that the output is exponential and the sweep is negative going since A is a negative number. Okay, here as yes, A is negative because for Miller circuit A is having minus infinite value. So as A is negative, the exponential signal goes negative. That means it is increasing negatively. Okay, it goes negative going. It uh, it is like a negative going signal. Then the slope error, slope error or sweep speed error, ES is equal to 
V S by V. We know this formula. Where V S is the sweep amplitude and V is the peak to peak amplitude value of the output. I will write here V S is sweep amplitude particularly to the signal and V is peak to peak amplitude. Peak to peak amplitude. So ES for this Miller circuit, Miller sweep, ES is equal to VS by what is the output voltage of the signal peak to peak voltage V? We have calculated A into V dash. Sorry, A into V dash. That is equal to VS by a, A we are taking it as a magnitude because we have said it is a negative value but when we are calculating yes it should be something like positive value. So mod A into V dash we have already taken in the previous slides that is V into Ri by Ri plus R this one. This one. So it is V into Ri by Ri plus R. So that is equal to Vs by V into a factor multiplied by Ri by R, Ri by R or R by R, R by Ri divided by it is mod A. Okay. So the Deviation from the linearity. See, actually, the original value is up to this one only, V S by V. But it is multiplied by a value which is one plus R by R I into uh, one plus R by R I by A. So this is the linearity which is deviated from the original value. So this is the amount of factor that makes the signal to get deviated. Okay. So the deviation from linearity is 1 plus R by R i divided by mod A times that of an RC circuit charging directly directly from a source V from a source V okay suppose see we have calculated everything when R naught is not considered okay we have assumed that the R naught is having low value that's why we have neglected that and simply the output is taken across the same voltage circuit voltage source but if R naught is considered again the output may not be directly equal to the A into V dash okay so I will tell that one also if R naught is considered then then the final value attained by V naught as before a v dash is equal to a v dash is equal to minus a v dash is equal to minus a mod v dash the initial value however is slightly different so to find v naught at t is equal to 0 plus at t is equal to 0 plus so now we are going to calculate v naught writing the kvl equation around the mesh then see here write kvl equation here What happens now? V dash minus R dash I if I use the current flowing through that one R naught I minus A into V I is equal to 0. So V dash is equal to V V I is equal to V dash minus R dash into I. So from the above equations we can say V i at t is equal to 0 plus is equal to some change in the 
input voltage which is equal to R naught by R dash into V dash divided by 1 minus A plus R naught by R dash which is also treated to be change in the output voltage V naught. Okay, so finally we can say that V i at T is equal to 0 plus that is equal to R naught V dash by R dash A. So this is the input voltage appeared at the terminals between the input uh, thevenin's voltage circuit when R naught is considered. If R naught is not considered then there is no problem directly we can equate the V i and V naught with A into V dash. Okay. So therefore if R naught is not is taken into the account V naught is equal to V naught value is small positive value and still it will be a negative going sweep with the same terminal value. Okay, whatever we have seen in the previous value, the same terminal value it is also taking but with a slightly positive going side. Thus, the negative going ramp is proceeded by a small positive jump. Okay, so this is the way of how the Miller circuit is acting to get the better betterment in the when compared to the previous existing uh, resistance and capacitance circuit of the Miller circuit. Okay, there we have introduced some generator or amplifier, but the gain is minus infinity. So in order to get back to the let, uh, little value of this slope error, we are doing all these manipulations. Thank you.